What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Real Comic Book Talk. Today we have great, one of my favorite guests, Mr. Scott Snyder himself. Hey, okay. thanks for having me, brother. Yeah, no Appreciate problem. it. First Sorry, my voice is like half on Sunday, but we're good. Mine's too, so let's keep it. <laughs> so, first of all, congratulations on finishing DC Metal. Oh, I think, my personal opinion, an instant classic. Oh, thank Especially you. Especially six. <laughs> That's Six was like you're the kid and you have all the toys that you ever wanted and you just smash them together in the bathtub and it was a lot of fun. So, oh brilliant! Thank you. Oh my gosh. So brilliant. I would have helped my daughter. Oh, it was thanks, so good. She had no idea what was happening. Um, so where did you get the inspiration to come up with that? I'm not gonna give you any spoilers here, yeah. but that last panel. Well, what we wanted to do is, we really felt like, you know, metal from the beginning was about exploring past the boundaries you're comfortable with. Batman kind of follows a mystery that's bigger than anything he has before that connects to all this stuff with human history and the dark multiverse. And so if the event is really about exploring past those boundaries that you're familiar with, we knew we needed to do something at the end, all the way in the beginning we knew, do something in the end that would allow the DC Universe to become bigger and open up new realms to explore for our characters. So that was the idea of kind of where we were going with everything. Oh, and the last battle, I, the, the, well, I, I can spoil it because it's, it's in the, I said it about Justice League, but the Hall of Justice coming back. I'm going on to Justice League in June, really excited. Um, James Tynan, who's walking right over there, is actually yeah. doing, here he is. He's my, my brother, my brother, he's doing Justice League with me. And he's doing the Legion of Doom books within Justice League. It's gonna be fun. I can't uh, wait. And Hall of Justice, I really wanna make the whole book feel connective. Like, you could go into the Hall of Justice and maybe see Swamp Thing, maybe see Dr. Fate, maybe see the Atom, maybe see Mr. Terrific, maybe, you, know, you don't know, they all have different places and, and the Hall of Justice brings everybody together. That's what I think is important about it. So, I know after DC Metal, you're going to be starting Justice League No Justice. Can you right. give us an insight into that? Yeah, sure. Well, because of what happens at the end of, end of uh, Metal, what sort of the DC Universe suddenly becomes much bigger. And because of that, a threat comes from the very edge of our universe and says, you don't know what you've just done. You know, the whole universe is in big trouble now. And so in that way, uh, the event just kind of takes takes our heroes to the very corners of sort of the DC multiverse you've never seen before. It puts them up against big Kirby-esque new threats. And at the end, you realize why we need a Justice League, a Justice League Odyssey, a Justice League Dark, and one other book we're launching with the two I can't announce yet. It's kind of new coordinated, new justice sort of uh, line of books. Let's go ahead and take my money now. <laughs> well, again, thank you for thank your time. So I know much. you're busy. Oh, no, I appreciate it. It's great to talk to you. And thanks to everybody at the site. And happy Easter and April Fools, right? Yeah. And also, don't forget your rinse, dude. Everybody, <laughs> till next time. We out.